I'm Dr. Jeff Crooms, a general surgeon at Tallis Memorial Hospital. Uh, we ha have found a new procedure for gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, gastroesophageal reflux is where the uh, acid in our stomach comes up into our esophagus and maybe even uh, up into our throat. All of us have that. There are patients that certainly are more symptomatic than uh, the average person. And those patients end up being put on medication, and they're on medication for their entire life. We have always had surgical options for those patients, but those procedures have been done with either a large open incision or in the past several years, we've been able to do those procedures laparoscopically, which is a major benefit to the patient in regards to less pain and a faster recovery. What has also been developed over the last few years uh, has been a, an incisionless fundoplication. That is where we actually go down your mouth with a lighted endoscope looking in your stomach and then perform uh, a fundoplication, which is a partial wrap of that area where the esophagus enters the stomach. In a laparoscopic or open procedure, we'll do a full 360 degree wrap in most cases, although in some we also still do a partial wrap. But endoscopically, we are a little limited, and therefore we're only doing a 270 degree wrap. What our studies have shown us so far is that patients, 80% uh, of patients receive some benefit from this, either getting off of their medication entirely or being able to cut those down. It is done often as an outpatient. Uh, many times those patients will spend one night in the hospital and then be discharged the following day and return to work within two to three days. We do ask patients to stay on a liquid to soft diet for two to four weeks, but eventually they're able to eat a standard regular diet and hopefully will be off of all of those medications. Uh, in order to be considered for the TIF procedure, and again, that is a transoral incisionless fundoplication, a patient still should be properly evaluated, which would require an upper GI series. That is where a patient is drinking some contrast material and at that time is having x-rays taken of their stomach uh, to look for reflux or look for a halo hernia. Uh, other tests that, that would be a benefit would be an upper GI endoscopy and possibly either a motility or pH study. And that would be between the patient and their physician in, in being evaluated for that. This procedure has, has been worldwide five years now and, and in the United States for three years. Uh, it has uh, minimal complications with a very good success rate so far. Uh, we're the first ones to bring this to, to North Florida and look forward to providing this service to our patients.